Welcome into my Swedish music studio. I've been living in France for four years and I recently moved to Sweden and built this studio. So behind me here, we have the instruments. And if I take you all around over here, you can see the diffuser wall. And over here is the main control station. We've been kind of silent on the YouTube channel. And in this video, we wanna fill in the blanks to update you on what's been going on the last six months and show a little bit from the move from France to Sweden, which was quite an endeavor. But before we do that, let's take a look at some details of the studio. Here's the main console and it has this nice pull out keyboard underneath here. And if we look in the back here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight passive bass traps, and then these two active ones. And we have Daplo diffusers by Olivier from ID Acoustic who have designed everything in this studio. We've actually been able to reuse everything from France and put it up in this Swedish studio. Let's play a nice vibraphone chord. And then over here, my cello and my chessboard that I got from my father. So I treasure that. And then we have these cool variable diffusers. So all the way on one side, you have a white wall. And then all the way on the other side, you have a plywood wall. And I also made them double as one window blinds. And if we check in the ceiling, we have absorbance in the ceiling. We reuse these CNC scraps with a lot of absorbance behind them. And here's a little something that I've been working on uh, behind the scenes. So this story will be told, just not right here and just not right now. Good Wilson, you're doing an awesome job. So yeah, my new studio. So I'm moving to Sweden from France and me and Sir 3 k are on our way to France to pack up the whole music studio and the Marm Machine X and the original Marm Machine. Today is a Monday and within a week we have to have my whole French house finished packed for the Swedish moving firm. A lot of people will wonder why I'm moving and I like to keep things uh, personal but not private but since I still want to have a transparency in my processes uh, I can say uh, that my father is ill. So first of all I want to do, be closer to my father in Sweden and I also uh, separated from my girlfriend last autumn and we're super super good friends, friends forever actually and I'm so happy about that but uh, those are the two main personal reasons that I'm actually leaving France for Sweden. Going back to France to see first of all the music studio that was just finished and that I didn't record a single note in. That is kind of crazy, so I'm gonna show you here some footage of my new music studio in Sweden. So here is me eating on the floor in Sweden. <laughs> so we're gonna pack the whole music studio, all the acoustics, all the custom made stuff and try to make it in the new studio in Sweden. And since Marmachin X can't go th out through the door, we will have to disassemble the whole machine. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, I will have to face my own naivety all my non-form from function designs I have to I have to meet in this trip. This is kind of the last chapter of that whole story, right? Yeah, this is closing the books on, on, on France. And I loved living in France. I miss it already. But most of all, I feel like going back and look at this custom-built music studio, it's crazy. I built a whole music studio and it was finished. And at that point, life happened. And this was uh, in the autumn, so that's what I've been setting up during the winter. That's why it's been a little bit break from YouTube. But it also feels like me and Sir 3 k has a great thing going on in Sweden. And I can't like, I can't wait for having all this wrapped up. So here we go, moving to Sweden. So to do the actual move, me and Hannes went on an epic road trip. We started an early morning in Sweden, we went through Denmark and then on to Germany. We stayed in Hamburg for a couple of hours of leisure time. Hamburg! Hamburg, here we go! We're outside the streaming <laughs> We're studio! We're actually outside! Zombie ticket drink! <laughs> Zombie <laughs> ticket drinks! Is. Salty, take a drink. And then from Germany, we headed further south on the Autobahn towards Switzerland and the beautiful Alps. It's the Wilson Mountain. Can you feel it? Oh! 
We entered Italy and took another break in Milano. Wow! <laughs> some kind of stones! But here it is, some kind of big house with nice stones. Welcome to Milan, everyone! Cheers! Cheers! And here we're on our way in next morning from Italy and we're entering France here and we are pretty close to our destination right here. When I was living in France, I was never flying between France and Sweden. I was always driving. I find these road trips pretty relaxing, actually. Closing in, Martin. Yeah, this is... To the house. This is the old road driving back. It feels very, very special. Here I made a sketch with this old Tony. With the big red arrow, <laughs> that was super stupid sketch. So this is a magical place, truly magical. We're on our way. It has started. Packing everything up. All the tools, all the screws. The workshop is going down into boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four screws to hold one sheet to four <laughs> drawers. That's not overkill at all. It's 20 screws too many. Four <laughs> would have done, okay? <laughs> Nailed it. One down, five million to go. Getting closer, getting closer. Everything is in boxes. Ready for Sweden and Germany. The last thing I did on the Martin X, the tracks to the divider here. You recognize it from the video? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The waves. I don't really know how this goes together. We don't need to know how it goes together, just how it goes apart. We did the CNC machine today. Look at this guy. He's so happy. Life is brilliant, everyone. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Welcome everyone, we are going to disassemble the Marble Machine X. Why? Because twice in my life I built a machine that is bigger than the door of the room I built it. <laughs> One last note on the stair run. That's the last two machines. That is Very the tough. song you were all wishing for. The cat and dog machine. The cat and dog, the, the fans love that. Ah, uh, yes! My friends, Olivier is here. Hello everyone. The designer and creator of the music studio that we finished one day before I decided to move out of it. <laughs> oh, bicep curl! Oh. First of all, we're gonna see, because this doesn't go through the door. We have to take this out through mm -hmm. the window. Hey guys, geniuses! Yeah. Bye! Bye! Bye. We just do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. And then... Ah. Oh. Yeah, good. Got it. Wow. Sledding in France. Already? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the ultimate proof of patience and a nice human being that he actually emotionally can handle helping me disassemble a studio that he designed with his own heart and that I never used once. <laughs> this is just a move. <laughs> <laughs> I love this desk so much and I'm going to have it in my new studio. But to get it through the door, we have to disassemble it. Sounds familiar? And Olivier, I am so happy for your help. And you created my dream music studio. And once it was finished, I had to move to Sweden. But I'm taking all these beautiful parts with me to make my new studio. Yeah. And you are helping me with some tips for the new studio. So the story continues. So Exactly. It's just a move. 
So the instrument collection is coming down. Drilled and plugged all these holes. Never used the instruments once after hanging them on the wall. But it's the start of something new. One more day before the moving truck arrives. We've been speeding and still we have, as you can see, all the acoustic panels are still up. So all this has to come down in one day tomorrow. Yeah. Otherwise we're not ready for the truck. So it's a little bit tight. And up in the ceiling, we have these fun stuff. And these are moving panels that we never showed. Olivier built moving panels. We have a, a remote control so they can fold in and fold out. Yeah. And we never even showed it in a video. <laughs> So this is Olivier's amazing uh, cyclorama system that we were building to film the Marble Machine next that it was supposed to play the music video here. And it's with a click-on system, so you can actually just pull it off like this. And I remember them putting this up with laser. So complete perfection. So check this. Oh, such a brilliant system. It's pretty cool. And then we're making a big pile here. Yes, we're on day five. Today, this part, the music studio, all the beautiful stuff in the ceiling, is the last big thing we have left, actually. Oh, and look over there, Tornado. I named one Vintergatan song after that bike. There it is. Now, the most eclectic part that Olivier designed is the Duplo diffusers, right here. So these are actually computer generated. These are not random. And I know they had a big uh, trouble getting these together. And look how cool they are fastened because you just lift one of these and <laughs> there is the screw. So then you can unscrew them. So we're going to try to take these down carefully and I'm going to reuse them in my new studio. Oh, it's like a skyline. So these are the base traps, two corners. So Olivier did a modular design on these acoustics and I'm very happy for that now because it's easy to bring. It's an acoustic uh, treatment. And here's the snakes. All the cables, woo! Yeah. This is a snake that has been expertly solder into place here so the cable goes through this red thing i'm using my favorite tool a hacksaw blade just held in my hand i have to open this red thing up up without hurting the cable today is today the moving truck is coming any second now i think we're about ready we made it in this couple of days martin is downstairs finishing up and france graced us with this beautiful weather in honor of our big day oh there he is Look at him. Wow, a man on a mission. Look at this guy with me through fire and rain. That's in my job description. <laughs> <laughs> and we have everything prepared and now we're just waiting for the track. Last day in the house. The last thing we're gonna do is take down the sign. <laughs> That's symbolic right there. Time. So this is my French village. Now I can show it now when I'm leaving it. So it's a picturesque small little village. It's actually a market today. So this is Main Street. I will miss it a lot. And I am going to pick up some pizzas for the moving guys. So there we go. My French village. Let's see what's behind these curtains. Oh my, my, my. Look at the old lady behind there. Still working. It's actually as good as the Marmachine X. Here's the breakdown. It's the best joke I've ever made. And we just climb it up on this one and then we can drag it. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think about the sled idea, Hannes? Uh, one out of ten. Good in theory, though. Exactly. Like this one. Put <laughs> <laughs> under there. Nice, work. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. 
Dab on the midlife crisis. <laughs> First time the two machines are meeting each other. The old one is like, well, you look a little decimated. <laughs> it's being cocky now, the original machine. Yeah. At least I'm not decapitated. <laughs> At least I made a song. At least I made one song. Right? <laughs> Done. What a marathon. Six days of constant packing and we are going to you always have to do dunk dunk on a truck when it leaves right okay. I have to do this. Okay. everything i own everything i ever built right here in this moving thing <laughs> The first time I came into this studio and I saw that the evening sun came in through this door straight over there and caused this like super cool light on this wall. I was like, I fell in love with this place. And I've been like sitting here in the evenings, seeing the sun pass this door exactly and like dreaming about the world tour for like uh, four years. <laughs> this is the last uh, sunset I'll experience in this room. And it's very, very, very bittersweet. When I already started build the Mountain X before moving here, and I leave France without finishing the project a couple of years later. Last evening light of the last evening. It's an end of an era and a big beginning of a new one. So I'm actually super happy, but yeah. Super happy to be able to tell you that uh, the machines are going to Siegfried's Music Cabinet, which is a musical, mechanical music instrument museum, and you will be able to visit the machines, both the original one and the Marm Machine X. And we're also gonna drive my CNC machine there. So I will do some CNC machining for the third machine in the coolest music instrument museum in the world. It feels kind of epic that I might be building the third machine on the place where the first two machines are and in such a historical location as Siegfrieds. On our way back to Sweden, we visited Thomas logistics department. I found a couple of guitars. In each little box there is a dream. Dream, someone is dreaming. And Martin tried out vibraphones for the Marble Machine 3. And he also bought a glockenspiel and a cello. So, this is the state of the music studio after the things have been moved to the new place. It's just a room full of a lot of boxes. So, all these moves are just loose standing. I'm not screwing anything into the wall, so they're just standing in the room. And now with this pipe we can adjust the width of the walls. It's total chaos, but I'm putting this big diffuser wall up and I'm using two supports underneath and then just a plywood to stabilize the bottom row. And this should give me a completely parallel diffuser wall with the floor without any measurement. So we reused some stuff. So this is not like top finish, but it's reused and that's what counts. Moment of truth. Well. Hands on, B plus, good as enough. During the spring, we've been examining some design ideas for a potential Marble Machine 3. I'm not sure yet if I will make a Marble Machine 3. I want to, but I'm not sure if I should. Maybe it's just a shovel with which I'm trying to dig myself out of this hole. It remains to be seen, but I know there are some things that I want to experiment with. There are some keys that I want to examine and most of all, I think I want to take some time to reflect and let all the knowledge that I gained from the Marble Machine X process really sink into my snowflake body. If I was thinking before that I could do anything, right now I'm thinking that I can't do anything. <laughs> my cynicism has gone through the roof and I think the pendulum is now swung over to the other side and eventually the pendulum will stay in the middle where my enthusiasm for things and my newborn realistic cynicism is maybe going to converge in 
into a fantastic uh, new approach or something like that. Sounds great. I don't know if it will happen. So yeah, looking back at the recent period, I can see there as kind of a ketchup effect of adversity that I had to uh, work my way through. And it feels like I'm kind of out on the other side of it right now when I'm landing here in Sweden. So I'm looking forward to the future. And for the future, I think I will focus more on music. I've been missing music a lot. It's been a lot of engineering. And as I said, I do need the time to take on board this new knowledge. Uh, the new pathways in my brain that is formed from function design, they are forming even when I'm not actively working on the design. <laughs> I just need to wait for these highways in my brain to be constructed. And then we're going to go straight Marble Machine 3 eventually. So it feels great to be back with you you all and I hope that you're doing great and good luck with everything you're doing. See you on the next one. Take care. Ciao.